see the game more clearly with high definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Well, John, that was a game of uh, two distinct halves. Yeah, I thought we were brilliant in the first half. Um, we made a lot of line breaks. Uh, we ran the football well. We knew we would have to control it because uh, they had a howling gale behind them. And in the second half, um, you know, we scored a couple of tries. Could have scored a few more. Um, but, you know, the, the proverbial last pass went to ground. And uh, a couple of little decisions we made and a couple of little errors uh, let them back in. And they're an experienced side. And, um, you know, they closed it out with uh, the worst way to lose a game ever, which is a, a scrum penalty try. As you say, uh, Gloucester playing into a stiff breeze in the first half, looked controlled and uh, really dictated where the game was going to be played. Uh, yeah, well, you know, when, when you can't kick the ball, you've got to run it. And uh, we had a, a definite plan to run it at, at them and take them around the corner, which uh, they weren't very uh, very used to. You know, as a defensive unit, they, they tend to sit back and spread. Uh, so we wanted to punch the ball into them and punch some holes, and we certainly did that. And we made enough breaks to, to probably score another two tries, which would have been a, a wonderful way of turning around. And even the intercept try right on half time, you know, if that ball goes to, to hand, he just took, it, took the odds, took the intercept. If that goes past him, we got a bloke under the post. So, uh, you know, we have a 14 point break at half time. But it didn't happen, and uh, we've got to learn from that. And uh, the young blokes will turn up next week, and I'm sure that they'll do an equally good job. Got a positive to take from that game because a lot of people sort of put their hand up and showed how they can play. Oh, definitely, and that was that was the uh, the thing we asked them to do. You know, it's not natural for us to to not kick the ball, to not you know throw it wide. Um, so we asked both centres, who are you know, young blokes, to, to carry the ball, get over the advantage line, and and then look for support once they made the break rather than in in the tackle. And I thought they were both excellent in the first half. The halfback controlled things well, and the five eight, you know, his patience uh, was very good. As so what will your message be to this side that come down here? They're really, really disappointed when they leave the field. But from a coach's point of view, your work this week, what are you going to be telling them? Uh, well, Nick Welsh is taking it over this week. I'm having a week off, which is great. Um, yeah, um, well, just what I said in there. Uh, we, we made enough breaks. We did enough, played enough footy. Uh, we were good enough to win the game, but in the end, we didn't. So we've got to have a look at why we didn't do that. Um, and, and we'll certainly give feedback on a couple of the decisions and, and a couple of the, the penalties that went against us. Um, but the main thing is, you turn up on uh, Wednesday, all fresh and ready to go for London Welsh next week, and uh, we've got to have the same sort of performance. Similar sort of selection, would you say? Uh, similar, similar, yeah. Uh, there'll be a bit of a rotation. Some of the blokes that came off the bench um, will start, but uh, and, and there was an injury or two out there as well, so we need to, to work out what's happening there, but um, certainly the young blokes played well enough to get another shot. Sure.